Let's add a color changing mode to our saber so we can select whatever color we want for our blade. First, we need to detect double clicks, and in order to do that, we're going to need a few variables. First up is int double press max time, so this is how long you have in order to do your double click. Setting this to longer makes double clicking easier, but also makes you wait longer before a single press can be registered. Then we'll have an unsigned long time press set to zero, and an unsigned long time press limit also set to zero. We also need an int clicks, so how many times the button has been pressed inside of the double press max time of course, and a bool changing which will define whether we're in the color changing mode or not. After we get the button state in the loop function, let's check if button state is equal to high, and if the button is pressed, we'll start by waiting for 200 milliseconds, and then if clicks is equal to zero, we'll set time press to millis, and time press limit to time press plus double press max time. Then we'll set clicks to one. So basically the time press is when we press the button for the first time, and the limit is 250 milliseconds after that time. If we press the button again within 250 milliseconds, then we'll register a double click. But if 250 milliseconds pass without a second click, we'll register a single click. So right below this, we'll check else if clicks is equal to one and millis is less than time press limit, then this is a double click because we already have one click and we're adding another. So changing should be set equal to true to put us in color change mode and we'll reset time press to zero, time press limit to zero, and clicks to zero. Then instead of checking if the button was just pressed, we'll check if clicks is equal to one and time press limit does not equal zero and millis is greater than time press limit. So if there has only been one press and we're past the 250 milliseconds, we should register a single press, which will be activating or deactivating the lightsaber. We also want to reset time press to zero, time press limit to zero, and clicks to zero. Okay, so now we can activate and deactivate the lightsaber and go into color changing mode, but we still need to actually create color changing mode. So if activated and changing, what we want to do is change the saber through a bunch of colors smoothly, and when the user presses the button, we'll stop changing and use the color that they've selected. First, I'm going to create an unsigned in RGB color array with three items. I'll set item 0, which is red, to 255, and items 1 and 2, which are green and blue, to 0. Then I'll say for int deck color equals zero, deck color is less than three, deck color plus plus. And deck color is the decreasing color. So there's going to be a decreasing color and an increasing color. So first we'll decrease red as we increase green, and that will take us from red through orange and yellow to green. Then we'll decrease green as we increase blue, and that will take us from green through blue green and light blue to blue. And finally we decrease blue as we increase red, which will take us from blue through purple, and finally back to red. So the de Decreasing color goes from 0 to 1 to 2, and then we'll set int ink color to deck color is equal to 2, question mark, 0, colon, deck color plus 1. So if the decreasing color is 2, the increasing color will be 0. Otherwise, it'll just be the decreasing color plus 1. Now that we have the increasing and decreasing colors, we can create a for loop going from 0 to 255, and inside of this we'll say RGB color decreasing color minus equals 1, and RGB color increasing color plus equals 1 to crossfade the two colors. Then we need to run set whole saber to color, RGB color, to show the color on the saber, and delay 10 to keep the colors moving more slowly. Then we'll say if digital read button pin is equal to high, so if the button is pressed, then we want to stop at this color. First, we'll type R equals RGB color 0, then G equals RGB color 1, and then B equals RGB color 2. Changing equals false, time press equals 0, time press limit equals 0, clicks equals 5, so we don't do anything with them, and then we'll return. Then at the bottom, of the loop function, I'll say if clicks is greater than or equal to 2, clicks equals 0. So we don't have any issues with clicks getting out of control. The last thing to do is go back to the activate saber function and at the bottom reset all of the click related variables. So changing equals false, time press equals 0, time press limit equals 0, and clicks equals 0. Just so we don't have any double clicking when the lightsaber isn't active. As you can see, we can draw the saber and use a double click to activate color changing and a single click to stop it and use that color. Now, let's make the Arduino board save the color, so when we turn the lightsaber off and then on again, it starts up with the color we were using. At the top, we'll hash include eeprom.h, which is the library we need to access the Arduino's memory for saving data. Now, in the setup function, we'll want to check if we have a saved lightsaber color in storage. Since we can only store integers in the storage, I'll store my red value at index 0, my green value at index 1, and my blue value at index 2. So, to check if we have a stored color, I'll check if not eeprom.read0 is equal to 0, and eeprom.read1 is equal to 0, and eeprom.read2 is equal to 0. So if all three
three slots are equal to zero, we haven't saved a color and we won't do this if statement. But if at least one of them is another number, we'll say r equals e prom dot read zero and g equals e prom dot read one and b equals e prom dot read two. So we're loading up our red, green, and blue variables with the saved values. In order to save the color, I'll go into the color changing part of the loop function and when the user selects a color, I'll say e prom dot write at address zero the value in r and e prom dot write at address one the value in g and e prom dot write at address two the value in b and now we're saving the color we select even if we turn the saber off and then on again check out the last video in the lightsaber series to finish your lightsaber don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future lightsaber videos